All right, so let's look at question number 15, where we're trying to figure out the ratio of surface areas, <clears throat> where we're given the ratio of volumes um, of two different objects. So we have a volume here, um, cube one, which is equal to 125, and then we're taking, we're gonna take the ratio of volume of cube two, which is equal to 64. So we got the large cube to the small cube. And we will have to go back and figure out what is the ratio of their surface areas. <clears throat> so in order to do this, we need to take volume back down to its single um, linear measurement, like the length of the side of a cube. So <clears throat> in order for us to do that, we can say, that is, um, let's take the ratio of the side of cube one. So we'll call that S1, and then the side of cube two, we'll call that S1. Um, S cube two. So that is going to be equal to the cube root of 125 and then the cube root of 64. So <clears throat> what numbers multiply together to give you 125? Three times, that's going to give you five. And then cube root of 64 is four. <clears throat> so the ratio of the sides of the cubes go from 125 over 64, that's the volume, down to five over four, which is the sides. So then if we're looking for area, so we'll just do, um, I'll just do capital A for area. And then we're going to do cube one and then area for cube two. So we know area is going to be the side of the cube all squared. So it's simply gonna be five over four, but we're gonna square all the terms, both sides, or both top and bottom. So then the ratio is gonna be 25 over 16. So the ratio of the areas, large to small, this is gonna be 25 to 16. Okay, so you see how the pattern where this works, where you have to go from volume down to side of the object, okay, which you have to undo the volume, and then to go from, vol from the side to area, you have to end up squaring it. Okay, so that's how you go through that question.